Hi there, this is Rajit and in this uh, video, I'm going to show you this uh, My Cloud Home from Western Digital. And this is a personal, what do you say, uh, storage device, intelligent storage device you can think that you will attach to your router and it will back up all this stuff from your computer and even from your smartphones. And I feel uh, in today's digital age, a uh, device like this is sort of important because most of the time, I don't know about you, but I take most of the photographs from my smartphone or it's stored in the computer, it's in a digital format. And just imagine uh, if something happens, your phone crashes or if your computer crashes, how much data that will get lost so devices like this help uh, uh, they have automated software that will back up all your stuff even in fact WD claims that you don't even need a computer to set this up you can just set it up automatically from your smartphone and it will back up stuff automatically from your smartphone or even uh, if you have a cloud account so let's quickly open this up and let's have a look and let's see what it can do for you so guys, here is the box and as you can see, and here you'll notice that it says it's a three terabyte unit and this is a review unit that was sent to me by Western Digital. And it comes in a variety of storage. It starts with two GB, uh, sorry, two terabytes, three terabytes, four, and even uh, eight terabytes, I believe. I'll have the links in the description area and it says it works with iOS and Android and there are some settings. So let's quickly just open this up and let's have a look. So I'm going to speed up this unboxing, you get this pamphlet, don't lose this one, this is required while you register the device and uh, we get uh, a LAN cable and a power adapter. And as you can see it just says uh, my cloud home at the back and we have a USB 3 port so you can also transfer data via that uh, but you connect it to your what do you say uh, routers LAN port and this is for the power that's it. So you just connect it and we'll do that and uh, let's open this smartphone app and see how easy it is to configure so guys here is my smartphone and let's try to uh, configure the same i have connected this uh, drive as you can see uh, this white light uh, glows and from the back it's nothing as you can see i've attached an ethernet uh, cable and it's glowing that means it's connected and this was the power adapter beneath that that's it very simple setup let's see how easy it is to set up and you just download this My Cloud Home app from the Google Play Store. It's also available for iOS. I'll show you that later on. And we're going to configure this one uh, using this smartphone. Obviously, if you want, you can also use it with a, a dedicated computer. But uh, let's try to set it up with the smartphone now. So I'm just going to open that up and uh, it's going to uh, log in and make sure you are on the same wi-fi network on which you have connected this drive you have to agree to these terms and conditions i'll do that and again you have to create an account so i'll just do that and then we'll continue so uh, it just created an account and now it's searching and uh, it says specify the type of cloud you're trying my cloud home it's so it's going to search that on our network and it did find this and it says uh, we got this uh, what do you say on our device so it's has some code over here that we need to enter so i'm just going to do that and it uh, looks like it found uh, the drive uh, so the setup is actually pretty easy and it says what's new whatever whatever service maintenance no notification whatever customized app experience and it says we had set your so the setup was actually very easy uh, so just don't uh, lose this because this one has the code that you have to enter on your smartphone and it has this auto backup option I'll just switch it on so I think so it's going to back up uh, stuff that is on your smartphone and it can do over Wi-Fi or cellular data I won't uh, use cellular data for now I'll just hit done and it's backing up I think so the photos and stuff on my smartphone to this one now and uh, we can also as i told you it works with obviously your computer so uh, you can also uh, use the desktop app i'm going to do that i'm going to show it on my mac i'm going to install that and show you other and we can also share some of the stuff that we have backed up on this device let's say your vacation photos or your kids birthday party photos all so you can share it with others also if you want and uh, you can also back up let's say you have stuff on your uh, maybe like google cloud or whatever and to do that go to the settings tab and from here uh, click this manage services as you can see we have quite a few services that is extra functionality that this drive uh, offers and here you need to go to the social and cloud import option and enable this option once it's enabled uh, you just hit 
configure and it's going to open this web page and from here you can configure uh, what do you say various cloud services that you have for example i personally use dropbox and google drive so if i enable this um, uh, the content that i have on my what do you say dropbox account will be automatically copied to this drive uh, so this is also a very good option in my opinion as you can see it works with dropbox google drive onedrive box and even your facebook account so this is the app and activities it shows i can invite files uh, it's going to upload the uh, stuff as of now i'll add that so photos it's going to uh, back up upload something upload your photos or videos it says so i can upload whatever stuff that i have on my smartphone to that and th it, it should actually do this automatically so i'll just wait i'll just uh, hold down for some time and it should actually back up all the stuff automatically to the drive that's what it is it's it's they claim that it's a hassle free solution it says uh, my cloud home 190 items waiting to be backed up so it's just as you can see it's just quickly changing that means it's writing the stuff to this one and yes it also works with ios so this is my iphone i have installed uh, this my cloud app uh, the setup is almost similar as on an android phone and as you can see you get almost the same layout uh, and uh, it has now backed up it's been about a couple of hours so if we go to files as you can see my document folder from my computer has been backed up and this is the samsung uh, phone and uh, it should have backed up the images we don't have those images directly on the phone but let's see uh, how fast it'll access that if we click here as you can see uh, these are the images uh, that uh, I had shot with this one and you can order it by date or uh, order it by uh, what do you say it takes a little bit of time for buffering it but these uh, were the snaps that I had taken from my Samsung phone and as you can see uh, this is not there on this phone it's pulling from the cloud a lot of uh, burst photographs that's why those empty as you can see these are the normal photos that I have and it's pulling it from the cloud and the speed as you can see is fairly fast so again uh, it's not like that it works only with one device let's say if your family has multiple device you can install them and back it up uh, using uh, this one so guys this is my mac computer and uh, this wde drive just comes up as a folder as you can see as a shared drive so you'll have all your files over here and i was curious how would be the speed so let me do one thing uh, this is a one gb file that i have so let's transfer this to this WD drive and see how fast it does. And I'm just going to use the stop clock for that. So I'm just going to drag this here and drop. And let's see it's copying this one gigabyte file. And it should be done here. It is showing the progress. So yes, it will take some time, about 12, 13, 14, 15. So roughly took about 16 seconds for transferring one gigabyte of file. Uh, so again, make sure that you connect this uh, WD uh, My Cloud Drive via gigabit Ethernet connection. Let's also do a disk speed uh, check with this Blackmagic uh, disk speed. And I'm just going to select this WD drive as you can see. Uh, let me just zoom in. So I'm just going to use this one and we're going to select it and let's start the test and this will test the speed over the network and as you can see write speeds are about 42 megabytes that we are getting and this is connected over a gigabit uh, uh, router that i have and reads i'm very surprised that it's touching about 93 as you can see uh, which is almost maxing out this gigabit uh, connection that i have so i'm really surprised with the read speed i didn't expect it to be actually this good writes are about 41 as you can see and you can actually control the entire device from this my cloud app for example this was the app if you go to the settings and i'm just going to go to this and this is a cloud uh, so it gives you an idea uh, how much storage space is left uh, you can add users etc and we can also actually shut down this device directly from the smartphone i'm just going to hit shut down and i understand it's going to uh, shut down and uh, i understand now it's going to shut down uh, this one and i'll move it to my uh, near my computer because uh, i want to keep it over there 
So I have used this uh, WD My Cloud Home for about a week and let me share my experience, uh, what I liked about it and what are the things that I did not like about this one. And the first thing that I really liked about it and you saw that is very easy to use and set it up. Uh, you can actually completely control it with a smartphone and it will back up uh, the content on your smartphone like your photos, videos automatically and you don't have to worry about it. It does that job seamlessly and I actually synced about four different smartphones and it worked perfectly with this one also in terms of your sort of advanced user you have a lot of videos that are stored on this uh, as I've showed you in the initial part of the video you can install the third-party app that is known as Plex server and that also actually works uh, with this device so you can view videos uh, that are stored on this with just a web browser and uh, the good thing about this one is that uh, even if your device for example does not have any software that is uh, configured for this one you can just go to the mycloud.com website and and log in with your credentials and you'll be able to access whatever the files are stored on this one from anywhere in the world so even say let's say you have some important file you're traveling and you don't have that you can just go to mycloud.com and that way you can access what is stored on this one and do note guys whatever is stored on this one is just stored on this one it's not stored on any third-party cloud server so that way all your data is on this drive and regarding backups with Mac, I tested it with Time Machine backups. So if you have a Mac, you can set it up as a Time Machine backup. So it'll back up your Mac automatically with this one. And also it has option for multiple users. Let's say uh, you live in an apartment and you have two different uh, person, two friends. Uh, you can create other login for your friend and his files will be private to him. You won't be able to access his files. So multi-user support is also provided on this. Now moving to some of the things that I did not like. And this is regarding the desktop app that we have the desktop app that we have especially for the Mac is very limited in functionality and it just creates a shared folder that you have but one thing that I like about the app is that if you install the desktop app uh, it works both with Windows as well as Mac is that you can create a special shared folder thereby whatever you put in that let's say if you're traveling or whatever whenever you come back to your network it'll automatically uh, upload those files to this drive the, the shared functional uh, folder functionality is very good but apart from that the app desktop app is actually pretty bare bones in my frank opinion also moving to the usb 3 port that we have uh, it is essentially used to uh, just uh, upload files from let's say your external drive to this one but the reverse is not possible for example let's say you want to back up your files what are there on this drive to an external hard drive uh, that is not possible also if you plug in a external hard drive to this one and want to extend the capacity of this one that is also not possible so be careful when you're purchasing this one regarding the capacity of the drive that you want three terabytes four terabytes or whatever because you can't expand the capacity of this drive and uh, lastly i would say uh, this is not a con but again this is the single drive model uh, but western digital also sells a uh, two drive model that is known as the duo and i would say uh, if you can spend extra yes obviously the duo drive it has multiple uh, hard drives in that uh, it costs a little bit more but uh, if you can afford that i would suggest go for that one because in this one we just have a single hard drive and for some reason if uh, the, the single hard drive fails you'll lose the data but if you offer uh, for the duo it automatically backs up the uh, whatever you're writing uh, to the second drive because it's default rate configuration so it's a lot more secure in my opinion but Overall, I would say if you haven't been backing up uh, stuff from your smartphone or from your computer, this is a very easy solution. Yes, essentially it's a NAS, but it's a very simple NAS. Generally NAS are very complicated, but this one is actually very simple to set up. And that is the reason that I like this one. And if you have a simple home setup, I would say uh, you should seriously have a look at this uh, My Cloud home drive from Western Digital. I hope you found this uh, uh, setup and overview video of this one helpful. So guys, uh, that's it for now for this video. If you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any other specific questions about this drive, do post your questions in the YouTube comment section below and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care guys. Hope to see you very soon.